Go. We're Mr. and Mrs. Presby's house, and it was built in 1902, so that's 120 years ago. So it looks real big for compared to other people's houses. Let's start over here in the parlor. Now, years and years ago, people had a special front room, and they called it a parlor, and it was kind of for guests. Guests would come, and if you were extra special, you'd be entertained in the parlor. They may bring you tea or coffee or something cold to drink, lemonade. And this was kind of a special room. They didn't use it every day. And you could look around and it has fancy chairs and things you wouldn't sit in with your dirty clothes. But someone might play the, the organ. And you could see somebody has their favorite rocking chair in here. And it's just a special room for special times. They probably put their Christmas tree up in here. So then let's go across the hall here and see Mr. Presby's office. He was a lawyer and he also was in the, in the uh, as a representative in Olympia. So, and right here, do you remember a couple of weeks ago, Golden Dale had her 150th birthday? Do you remember that? Well, these are Mr. and Mrs. Golden. I think we, we, I think we heard about him. Yeah, you probably did. John Golden, when he came to, into town, he was yeah. born in 1826, 200 years ago. And he came in, he was the youngest of 12 children. My brother, That's a lot. My brother told us about this one that was a hundred miles. Oh, wow. Well, when Mr. Golden came to town, he married this lady. Uh, her name was Jane Parrott. They lived outside of town. You know where Swale Creek is outside of town? They lived kind of there. Well, Jane Parrott, when they got married, she was only 14 years old. And they had their first child in 1860. But they're the ones that started Goldendale. And we believe that this was Mr. Parrott, uh, Mr. Presby's office. Uh, here, the family Bible. Here is a nice uh, fireplace to keep warm, and his desk and, and his uh, people came in from outside through that door. Are any of you, were you here when you were first grader? Did you come to the thing here? I didn't. You didn't? Yeah, for a couple of years we didn't have anybody. And the Toby. Yeah. And let's see, what else do you see? You see a pretty clock, and we see, what are these? Those are lamps. Yeah, they're kerosene lamps. We you have put the put, kerosene here, yeah, and then you take the chimney. We don't have one like that, but they do have a one of them. Yeah. You know what? I you know what? Put kerosene, yeah. half kerosene, half gunpowder, put a fuse. Oh, you silly person. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. And then okay, over here, you can see his desk. Look at all the little cubby yeah. holes in the desk. And then the pretty clock probably belonged to a family member. Okay. Now we'll go to the dining room. Let's see the dining room. Just follow me. You can see all the fireplaces. They had to use those to keep the house warm. Yeah, let's go in here for the dining room. Now this is probably where they ate supper. And again, they had another fireplace. Well, because we don't want, we want people who come to visit to stay here and just look, you know. It's look with your eyes and not with your hands. And we have fancy dishes. Do you see anything in here that you might want to bring with you on your trip to the west on the wagon? So, yeah. Those are, dishes might be kind of, you have to pack them really well because they're bouncing over the road. The yeah, I would have to pack this one well. Yeah. Soon. Well, and how long do you think it took? I would pack some wood for the fire. Yeah, you might pack some wood, but you might find wood along the way, wouldn't you? Yeah. So here we see all their fancy dishes and maybe pictures of their family. And then when we go in the kitchen, then there's a lot of things. What things in here do you see that you think might go on the road? Well, you might take, here, look at here, you might take a butter churn. Do you know what that is? See down there, there's a butter churn. You turn the butter. Yeah, you, you turn, turn the butter. And then some.
somebody once said they put the, the cream in a jar, and because they bounced along all day, they had butter by night. And just bouncing the jar along. And then if you made your butter, you would put it maybe in a special mold. See? And this would be for fancy meals. It would come out with a print on the top of the butter. So that would look pretty on the table. And what else do you think you might take? Would you, Flat. if you had... I would take the sink. Yeah, the recipe oh, book. you'd take the sink? If you had a little uh, brother or sister, a tiny one, you might take the cradle. Uh, and there's another butter churn there. But look at this. Now, would you take this to... Where's that? It's a, it's a big pot that you would hang over yeah, the fire. Yeah, boil water. Well, you'd boil water, but you would cook your food in this. And do you want to read what's on the outside of this? Sure. You read it. Out loud. Left Monturas, Missouri, March 14th. March 14th, they left in March. 1878, over Oregon Trail. Mm -hmm. Landed in Klickitak County, August. August third. So how many? How many 1878. days? How many months is that on the road? Did you hear that? You left March, April, May, June, July. It took them six months to get from Missouri and Martha, and Jane and. So this, I bet, is what they took with them to cook over the fire. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, feel that. Now, they might have taken a pot. See the pot with the lid? That's much lighter. For a pot, it's Yeah. And then, look, at, there's a teapot there. They would boil water in that, and they could hang that on the fire. There's going to be a test flavor, so pay attention. Okay, guys. And then, what do you suppose? These were, they could, if, they had a great, if they had a great big tub, no, it's they washed their clothes. And these were plungers. Oh, I, why didn't I see that? Because I went to one that had these. Okay, and you see the crocs? You see the crocs here? Sometimes they use crocs like that to make pickles. And sometimes they put meat in the crops and covered them with lard, and that preserved them. And then here, hanging on the side of your wagon, would be a water bucket. Hey, what's this? A water bucket. Yeah, and what is that? A that kettle. That's a ladle. Yeah, that. And you'd either drink out of this or pour it. Or you could stir if you're making soup, you could stir your soup with that. And you can pour it in. Yes. So that would be hanging on the side of the wagon. So let's go. Have you been up? Have you been up? I think we're going to go see what's up the house. Okay. I'll go to the outside. Okay.